it's Wednesday. I guess that's all I have to say about it being Wednesday. Top five Wednesday. Kim here, welcome back. It's Wednesday, which means I'm going to give you five of my favorite things based on the topic. Top five Wednesday is a Goodreads group. I will leave the linky link down there. And basically every Wednesday we have a topic and we mention our five favorite things about that topic. It's very simple, it's very fun. Check it out, yay. This week our topic is top five favorite books to get you out of a reading slump. That is what it is. Let's just, let's let's get you out of your slump. Here is, is what will do it. First, the Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Good historical fiction. Like, that's how I'm gonna start with this. It's just solid, great. Makes you weep openly historical fiction. This book is a great story. It's fantastically paced. It is not complicated to read at all. It is beautiful. It is just an incredible story, but also, like, it, it just stirs up emotions and thinking and while still being a simple story to read. So that's why I kind of recommend it for getting out of a slump is because it'll get you going. It really will. And it's just, it's so incredible. The second book I want to mention is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Mine is an old used library copy and it's, it's like sticking. Ugh, stickers on books, guys. Stickers on books. You know how I hate them. I did not at all expect to like this book the way that I did. I just kind of thought it would be fine. I loved it. It was so entertaining and so captivating. The story moves great. Like, I really have a hard time with YA sometimes. A lot of times. Most of the time. And this one, I really, like, had no problems with. It's like a five-star book for me or whatever. Like, if you have to have a star thing. Like, I just, I loved it. Loved it, loved it. Cinderella's a cyborg, you guys. This will get you out of a slump though because it is YA, so the storytelling is, is simple and it moves really fast. And it's the first book in a really great series. All the books are out, so if you are in a slump and you read this and you love it, you can binge read the whole series, which is gonna just throw you into the swing of book reading. So that is why I recommend it to get you out of a slump. The entire series is out. It is a great, great story. It is wonderful storytelling and writing and just cool characters and cool retellings and it's just a big ball of awesome. The third favorite read, I guess, to get out of a reading slump for me would be a short story collection. For example, something by Neil Gaiman, like Smoke and Mirrors. I loved this collection and I'm not even like just, my number three answer really isn't this collection specifically, it's really just any collection of short stories because if you're not like motivated to just sit down and read a whole bunch, like you can just read little nuggets of stories, you know, read a little bit at a time to kind of phase you in to reading again if you're in a slump. So I would recommend slash very often turn to short story collections when I'm feeling like I'm in a reading slump because I can read as much or as little as I want and just kind of like phase back into reading a lot. And so, yeah, and this collection by Neil Gaiman particularly is one of my favorites. I do really love it. Number four is The Three Musketeers by Alexandre Dumas. 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 He's French. Okay, so this is going to be like the classic on my list of books to get you out of a reading slump because not only is this a classic, it's also a classic story that most people are sort of familiar with, but it's also very funny. This is the funniest classics writer that I've come across. Um, I just feel like Dumas, like, it's not that he doesn't take it seriously, it's just that he's like kind of jolly about it sometimes in his storytelling style and like I just kind of chuckled very often throughout this book and not in a make fun of it sort of way, like a <laughs> you're kind of funny way that just is really entertaining and while it is a classic so it is you know dense like look at this and so it is kind of a monster of a book, but I would definitely use this to get out of a slump, especially if you read a lot of classics, because it's got the classics vibe, it's got the old storytelling way kind of thing, but it's funny. And like, 
sometimes it's not like super serious and so you can kind of just enjoy yourself you're not like in this like super heavy dense sort of murky bummed out kind of mood that classics can kind of put you in which is okay a lot of times like a lot of times that's why I read a classic is to get in that like dark thinking sort of place but this isn't that this is this is classic but it's also funny and charming so I'm sorry I'm always gonna be a big fan of this I'm not sorry at all last I want to mention The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern um this is a great one because it's not a series. That's kind of one of the reasons I like it to get out of a slump. It's a great standalone story. It just has a beautiful plot and a beautiful setting with really cool characters. That's just, it's so much fun. Like it's so, and but it's also like mysterious and whimsical and the mood of this book is great and it has a nice romance in it and it has a nice like, adventure in it and it just and it plays with time a little bit it doesn't exactly go chronologically it kind of jumps a little bit like in, with different story arcs and so it's fun that way it's unique and it's just great to get you out of a slump because it is like it's not complicated it's not dense it's just an enjoyable time and it's magical and fun and and it's just so cool okay so the night circus by Aaron Morgenstern is is my fifth pick for books to get me out of a slump and maybe you. That does it for my top five favorite books to get you out of a reading slump. We've all been in the reading slump situation. It's not fun. And so maybe one of these books will help you out. Let me know if you've read anything that's got you out of the drudgery of the reading slump that we all loathe. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys later.